Super Typhoon Mawa reattains Category 5 status. After wreaking havoc all across Guam, Typhoon Mawa has now reattained Category 5 status with a wind speed of 160 miles an hour and a central pressure of 921 millibars, that's 260 kilometers an hour and 27.2 inches of mercury respectively, currently moving to the west at 7 miles an hour or 11 kilometers per hour, now heading out across open waters or across the western pacific. The wind fields of the system remain quite large, the largest being 220 nautical miles across the southeast, otherwise it's 185 to the, to the northeast, 150 to the southwest, and 95 nautical miles to the northwest. Uh, currently, uh, a typhoon warning remains in effect for the islands of Guam and Rota, however all warnings have been lifted for the islands of Tinian and Saipan. Currently, this dis the storm's distance away from Guam remains at 114 miles, 137 miles away from Rota, and 175 miles away from Tinian, currently headed away from those locations, currently headed towards Manila and Taipei at 1477 miles and 1580 miles respectively. That's 183 kilometers away from Guam, 220 from Rota, 282 from Tinian, 2377 from Manila, and 2543 from Taipei. So once again, here is the latest Cone 4 Super Typhoon Moa. As you can see, it is expected to head uh, westward before eventual curve northward across all the way up to Taipei beyond five days out. However, uh, it could take a southerly shift towards Luzon if it really wanted to. Sea surface temperatures, whilst it does this, are way more than favorable. You can consult the chart above, uh, below even. Uh, on that graphic there. Chances of storm force winds once again um, pretty much between the 10 to 20 percent for Taipei, 5 percent right now as it stands for Luzon. However, as the storm edges closer to those locations, those chances could change dramatically. Uh, 5 to 10 percent chances remain just off the coast of Luzon as well as Taiwan as well. Once again, as the storm edges closer to those locations, those chances could increase. So the multimodal diagnostics, as you can quite clearly see, the storm is not quite done yet. It's still got way more favorable uh, conditions to go. Uh, deep layer shear, for one, being relatively on the low down as well. Uh, sea surface temperature is also remaining way more than favorable as well as mid-level relative humidity remaining way uh, above favorability for development for this system. As you can see, the system has very quickly gotten its act back together after impacting uh, Guam and Rota. Uh, once again, you've got yeah, infrared and true color imagery uh, visible on the screen right now. Stay tuned for Force 13 for updates. <laughs> <laughs>